Welcome to Art Warehouse. Today's artist is Hamish Mackey. Hamish Mackey is a British wildlife sculptor who works in bronze, silver, and any other castable metal using the lost wax casting method. He is considered to be one of the world's foremost wildlife sculptors. Largely self-taught, Mackie captures his subjects, ranging from livestock to birds via wild animals, by observation in a natural environment, taking detailed photographs and sometimes modeling in plasticine. He has won numerous commissions including works for Jilly Cooper, Charles Saatchi, Ronnie Wood, Private, and RSPCA, National Trust, Woburn Abbey, Merrill Lynch, his Cox, and most recently the Barclay Group Holdings, Public. He has traveled to places including Antarctica, the Falkland Islands, Australia, across Africa, and the United Arab Emirates in search of subjects. Hamish Mackey was born in Reading, England in 1973. His father was in the British Army, so the family spent the first years of Mackey's life living in both Hong Kong and the UK, before settling permanently on a farm in Lostwithiel, Cornwall in 1978. After prep school Mackey went to Radley College, where he found the support of its art department. Paul Killsby, his sculpture teacher, acknowledged Mackey's strength in capturing the dynamic animal form. Mackey made his first sale during his A-level show, two clay lambs for £50 to a family friend. The buyer took the lambs to Simon Allison at the Lockbond Sculpture Foundry to be cast in bronze, introducing him to one of the most important working relationships of his career. Simon called me up and asked me if I wanted to sign them. I drove up to meet him and see their lost wax casting process. This began a working relationship that has lasted to this day. In 1992 Mackey did a foundation course at Falmouth University followed by, in 1993, a BA in Product and Furniture Design at Kingston University. After university, Mackey traveled extensively in Africa, and in 1995 he took a job in a hunting camp in Zimbabwe. Face to face with African wildlife, the urge to sculpt overcame him and he created a cheetah head out of beeswax and paraffin. Mackie returned to the UK determined to sculpt full-time. He met with the renowned wildlife sculptor Mark Corrath, carrying his wax cheetah head under his arm. From there Mackie met with Simon Allison again to explore the prospect of casting his models in bronze for commercial sale. Allison was confident enough in Mackey's skills to defer payment until he started to sell. In 1996 Mackey moved closer to the foundry in Oxfordshire, and entered into the Art for Youth competition where he won the Diana Brooks Prize. The following year, he was accepted into the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition, following on from his first solo show with Fanshawe Somerset, London. Several successful solo shows followed, and in 2010 his solo show, also at the Cork Street Gallery, outperformed most of the galleries at Freeze Art Fair that year. Mackie's sculptures are distinctive for a highly accurate anatomical core covered by a loose, almost impressionistic skin. He is capable of turning his hand to almost any creature, as his extensive range of work reveals. This loose style allows him to highlight the differences in, for instance muscle groups, hair texture and even capture character via a careful working of eyes, nose and other defining features. His sculpting style is underpinned by a striking sympathy with animal kind.
Thank you so much for watching our video and see you in the following video. Please like and subscribe.